Lifesavers manual, suicide prevention. Does it surprise people to see these at a gun range? No, do they people, it? yes, they do appreciate it. People will pick it up, some will read it and put it back, some you'll see take it and put it in their pocket. The CEO of Gun for Hire is aware suicides at gun ranges are rare. But it happened here and that's why his entire staff was trained on mental health first aid. And while both sides are fighting over the innate object, we want the gun, we're allowing this stigma with mental health and not treating it. Two thirds of all gun deaths across the country are suicides. New Jersey's suicide rates are half the national average. People are afraid to report any mental health issues if they're depressed, going through a divorce or they lost their job because there's, there's a stigma attached to it. And in New Jersey, any hint of any mental duress, they lose their guns. Anthony Calandro says this is an environment gun owners trust to ask for help and resources. That's why forensic psychologist Dr. Gianni Pirelli says one way to reduce suicide rates is for doctors to bring awareness to the front lines by training staff to spot warning signs. If they come in solo, uh, if they seem very irritable, you give them brochure from the American Society of Suicide Prevention. We give them Dr. Pirelli's card and uh, we tell them they, you know, they can't shoot here. I get calls um, on a somewhat regular basis of people saying, you know, I really need to see a therapist who is going to be okay with me being uh, a gun owner. It's a partnership that's happening more frequently. The New Jersey Second Amendment Society says it has been pushing to get mental health resources to gun ranges. And the National Shooting Sports Foundation says it has started working with the American Society for Suicide Prevention. And since last spring, <laughs> they've sent over 6,000 kits containing suicide prevention materials to retailers and ranges. Do you think that by spotting them here at a gun range, you might be lowering that oh, potential we've, suicide rate? I guarantee, I guarantee you, non-analytical, I'm not saying this, I guarantee you we've probably 100 people in the past five years, we've identified something and we didn't let them shoot. I also set up a system where all of the commercial ranges uh, in New Jersey, we communicate with each other via an alert. A nearby range called Reloaders New Jersey recently used that alert system. Someone in the parking lot was talking about hurting himself. Yeah, before we even opened, we already experienced something. Well, not something, but a we had a, a potential but it wouldn't have played through because of the way our system is. The range's president says safety is her priority. She hired Dr. She's Pirelli to train her staff her before opening her new range. I'd like to keep all the rules of our Second Amendment in place as well as safely put that gun in that person's hand. And how do we do that? We have to screen. We have to screen, we have to look, we have to be aware. But in the process of creating this gun range, the president of this facility toured the country and found not all ranges have the same safety protocols. That there is some pushback from these, these ranges across the country in getting people like you in here. I don't blame them really because people in, um, in my field, uh, medical and mental health professionals, a lot of times are not trained and they don't understand gun ownership or the gun culture or gun ranges and we're not connecting and so how do you do that well i have to come here mm -hmm. and we have to learn from mm -hmm. each other both sides have correct to have to come we together to. in woodland park leah mishkin njtv news